I'm going to share something with y'all. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by The Last Voice. An interview I kind of did, but didn't want to be doing. Um, Phil, I've known you for however long you used to be doing what I do on this side of the camera. But this week was about Misfits, it was about Ace Musa. Um, but you're actually coming at us now with probably news that, one, you didn't expect, and two, you really didn't want to have to say. Yeah. Now, obviously, uh, unfortunately, the fight with uh, Willie Trucks has fell through. Uh, can't obviously go into too much details, but... There's a few medical things with sorting that out, but we'll be back, no doubt. We spoke to Mam, so spoke to Kala. Um, we'll be back. Look, they, they know, they've seen what Moose is about. We've seen, you've seen what Moose is about. You've seen him on the pads. He can fight. The guy can fight. The guy's about it. And in this influencer scene, I really don't think, I'm not saying you're out of bias, genuinely, there's not many that's better than him. So our time will come. Hopefully by the end of the year, you'll see him on Misfits uh, making some good noise. Just kind of what happens when something's put together at short notice. Obviously, because it, because of, it was such a short notice, there's still kind of T's to be crossed, I's to be dotted. So this isn't something out of the ordinary. It's not like checks weren't done. Um, obviously, this was very late notice, this fight. So this is just one of them things that happens. Of course, exactly. It's exactly that. Um, we got the call on Monday from, uh, from Mams for the fight. And at that point, it was 95%. Uh, Tuesday morning, I literally woke up, bro. I looked at my phone. I got a call from Misfits, they're like, okay, we need you in London, 2 p.m. So everything was done pretty quickly and really smoothly, actually. Big shout out to Misfits and uh, Salon Bros for, for su supporting us in all of that. They really helped us out. Uh, but it's one of those things, it, last minute, it happens and we'll be back when there's more time. He'll have a full camp as well, you see full potential of Musa. It'll be, it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll be good. I was going to say, they now get a more dangerous yeah. Ace Musa. Maybe this was the time they would have wanted him. Um, have you spoke to Walid? Obviously, look, I know there was kind of a little bit of a back and forth, but of the team spoken and kind of just perhaps cleared the air, I guess. Yeah, yeah. There was always mutual respect with the teams. We spoke. Um, everything's good. You know, he, he understands that. You know, everyone understands this. It's the situations that just happen. And, and I spoke to him. I said to him, you go get the belt of uh, Dean and uh, we'll be coming for you with that belt. No problem. And he, he seemed quite keen on that. So... That's a fight that's, that's still in the pipelines and it'll happen in the future. Yeah, I was going to say, when it is to be the Misfits debut of Ace Musa, will it kind of have to be against Waleed now? Because there's just there's a little bit more around it. Yeah, I mean, it could be. It just depends. It come, you know boxing, isn't it? It, it completely depends on the situation. But, um, you know, there's so much... In this division especially, there's so much fighters, you know. you got Adam Saleh who fought Evil Hero. See Mr. Fred Beck there maybe stumbling into the, the pipeline. But there's so many fights to, to be had, so... Whatever it is, we're just here at the platform. Moose is going to fight on Misfits and Waleed is a fight that we're, we're going to be chasing for. You know, I'm sure he's going to be tied up with Dean sooner or later. So we'll, we'll, ha we'll make that one happen. It doesn't have to be the first one. Well, like you said, one day the secret will come out when he makes his, uh, his Misfits debut. Just a quick one before we end this. Um, just a little bit about your journey. Obviously, yeah. like I said, we, we, we was in Miami doing this for kind of maybe at the start, not the start start, but Jake Paul's professional debut. You for behind the gloves, me for IFL. Um, you've come a long way. Bro, it's so weird. I still can't get my head around this. Like, this don't feel right, in a sense. But at the same time, you know... Um, we were competing to upload against each other. Literally, bro, we sat there. Yo, if you uploaded, no, 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 no. Okay, rubbing titles off each other and stuff. But no, it's been... I mean, I still somewhat do what we're doing, you know what I mean? Um, I was doing interviews yesterday with... In fact, it was a funny one with uh, with Walid and Musa together, Pineda. This game will never leave me. I think I always do some sort of interviews. But, you know, since then, TikTok took off the, the app that everyone loves to hate. Um, YouTube is working. So, you know, the content creation side of things is very fun. I've got a lot of, I feel like, avenues to explore within the game. And who knows, Oscar, you might be seeing me on one of these cards. Don't write me off because I see a lot of fighters in this division. And I'm looking at them and I'm thinking... I might have a little bite at that. I love Adam, he's a good guy. Maybe that's the fight to be made. Listen, he fought Evil Hero, didn't go, it didn't go down well, you know, he had his shoulder. I have a lot of respect for Adam, but listen, Adam, if you want a little back and forth, we can make that happen. My boy Musa will be taking you soon as well, but we'll see, we'll see. You never know. Man. This uh, content creation influencer thing is, is always taking it to the next level. So I'm excited, man. There's so much opportunity to be had. And pick up you, man. Look at you, man. You're always here doing your thing, grafting your ass off. So I respect you a lot, bro. I appreciate you, bro. You know that. Um, just one more thing. Obviously, I spoke to Mams about this, and obviously, you are a boxing fan. Um, 
this influencer boxing and traditional boxing, I'll call it, they can coexist alongside each other and, and be happy. It doesn't have to be one or the other, does it? No, never. This is something I think I've, I think I've spoken about this with you before, actually. It's, it's kind of cringy when boxing fans, traditional boxing fans, want to go out of their way to, to hate on influencer boxing. Purely I think it's just like the, the, the known thing to do, just kind of just yeah, throw a bit of... Yeah. It isn't even that. I think it's because... As times change, there's always going to be uh, new avenues of media, new avenues. Of, I mean, even what you're doing right now was probably frowned upon when Coogan first started out, right? They're, they're probably like, oh, why is this guy running around with the camera? He's not a real production team. Same thing with boxing. At the end of the day, these fighters are committing, you know, three months, six months, training their ass off in training camp. How can you not respect that? And at the same time, they've had a mindset, okay, I'll admit it, some of the content is corny. I make corny content. You guys think I don't, I'm not aware, I'm self-aware, I'm a very self-aware person. The content I make can be very corny as well, but that's the game, you know. Sometimes uh, <laughs> creators um, sort of cater to di different age, age groups that enjoy that content. But at the end of the day, they build a following, which is very hard. You guys should try build a following on social media. See how hard it is. See how hard it is to actually build a community that want to watch you. And then, you know, once they do that, they think, you know, they've got opportunities there. They don't have to fight. They think, let me put on the gloves. They go into a boxing gym, they are punched in the mouth and they're like, no, I still want to do this. How can you not respect that? You know, and it, by no means do I like shit on regular boxing. I've got a lot of, you know, professional fighters who are a good friend of mine and they, they graft their asses off. They're not doing the socials, but they deserve a shot. But it's one of those things you have to be realistic. At the end of the day, boxing is ticket sales. And if you can sell a fight, you're always going to get this big uh, opportunity and as misfits are doing they're showing that these guys can obviously fight and sell tickets and here we are there's no reason to hear and it. It, it really is corny when when you still hear to this day back then it kind of you can understand it you know when when KSI first came Joe, Joe Weller first came but now it's like come on now it's, it's getting outdated these guys are showing that they can fight their levels of the fights are actually getting better as well prime example Walid versus Dean was a, was one of the best fights I probably watched that year you know, three, two, it went for three rounds out of four, and the, the skill level was crazy. So you've got to respect these guys, and I think this debate really needs to be put to bed. The influencer boxing, maybe you can separate it to an extent, but you've got to respect it. I'm going to share something with y'all. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.